Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Tomorrow I'm going to be working on my hibiscus bonsai. It's got three flowers out today and it looks really wonderful. Tomorrow those flowers are going to fade away and fall off. So I'm going to prune it back, getting it back nice and compact so then I can grow it once again over the winter. Here's a close-up look at the flowers and they're really beautiful. They're a really dark rich color kind of a orangey red color. And these are probably some of the best flowers I've ever seen on my hibiscus. So it's quite a sight to see three flowers out all at the same time. The view of the hibiscus now is actually the back view. The flowers are all facing towards the light. I've got one, two, three, four, five, five more flower buds on the tree but I'm going to prune them off. I, I want all that energy to go into the growth. These other flower buds that remain, they'll probably come out one at a time. And you can't top the display today having three flowers out at once. I mean, it's just fantastic. I have had four flowers out at one time, but not all on the same day. Like these three will probably still be on tomorrow, but they'll be faded and then the one out front might come out. So I might get another, you know, a look at four flowers on it, but they won't be all the vibrant kind of orangey red color. So really cool, quite a sight. The weather started out quite nice this morning. It was sunny and warm, eight degrees Celsius, but throughout the day, this cold wind's been blowing in, stormy weather, and the temperature's just dropping and dropping, and it's getting, more and more cold outside. So I'm going to drain my cube today. I don't want it, you know, becoming a solid block of ice and possibly cracking the plastic cube. I don't want the water from my cube running all over the driveway here. So I'm going to hook up some pipe to it and redirect it out to the backyard. I've got some extra hose from the sump pump here. So I'll just put a uh, cement block on it so it doesn't come loose. kind of hooked onto the tap there. So I can put that. Okay, on goes the valve. That's working well. The water's going out to the backyard, so it will make this area all wet. It's been about five minutes now, and you can see the level has only dropped to here, so it'll take a while to drain this whole tank. It's a really cold and kind of nasty day out now, but it's still just beautiful here in the greenhouse. I'm just sitting in here watching the weather. It's fantastic watching all those dark clouds roll in. It's like this beautiful panoramic view, 360 degrees. Wow. I can just imagine watching a big storm, like, like an electrical storm or something from in here. It'd be pretty wild. I'll see everyone tomorrow to work on the hibiscus. 
Good morning, everyone. I hope you had a good sleep. I was so excited I kind of woke up early this morning because I wanted to work on my hibiscus. December is the darkest month of the year here, and anything that's in flower is just like an added bonus to brighten, brighten the dark December up. So not only is my hibiscus in flower, but I've got some other plants that are coming into flower. So I'll show you those. Here's a look at my jade or crassula bonsai, and it's flowered for the second year in a row. So that's kind of exciting. Here's a look at the flowers. They're small white and pink flowers. Really nice. I don't notice any smell to them. Even with the flowers closed, it adds a bit of color to the jade. These buds, flower buds, have been on the tree for almost two months now. To get my jade to flower, I leave it out in the greenhouse in fall where it gets the natural sunlight cycle and it gets the cool temperatures of fall and early winter. Then once the flower buds have all set, I bring it into the plant room and kind of warm it up a bit and then all the flowers come out. So it looks quite beautiful. My next flowering bonsai is my Christmas cactus. The flowers are just starting to come out now. I think I have two that have opened up really beautiful flowers just amazing there's a look at the flower quite spectacular i don't even think that one's fully opened yet i was searching on the internet to see if anyone else's christmas cactus had these little thorns or spines on the trunk and i couldn't find any pictures and all the descriptions said they're a thornless variety so this is the first year mine's had thorns and it's very old this cutting uh it is 25 or 26 years old now so maybe just with age they get them i don't know so it's kind of a cool feature it'll make repotting a little more difficult after all the flowering is finished on the plant i'll be pruning it all back trimming it up ready to grow once again my last flowering bonsai for today is my bonsai jade this is a jade from south africa and the common name is bonsai jade i guess they're very suitable for bonsai and it's all all in bloom looks really nice i'll show you a close-up of the flowers there's a close-up look at the flowers they're very small and these ones do have a scent but it's not a nice scent it's kind of a foul smelling uh yeah not very pleasant but they do have a scent I have several cuttings of this plant and they're all in flower so it must be a species that flowers quite easily so kind of exciting to see some flowers in December now comes the hardest part of the day removing those beautiful hibiscus flowers hibiscus flowers will usually last two days the first day they're more of a vibrant color and then the second day the color starts fading and you can see today they're not quite as vibrant as they were yesterday. So I'm going to cut all the flowers and the flower buds off the tree. I hate to do it, but it's, I mean, it looks beautiful now. I've seen it with as many flowers as it'll get on at once. Uh, there's still two coming out, but the other three would be falling off by the time they come out. So I don't want, you know, one flower at a time. I just, I want to get the plant reduce back and growing its foliage again. When it's in flower, all the energy of the tree goes into making flowers and it doesn't grow at all. The uh, branches in that actually start suffering. You can see even the foliage on it now, it's starting to look a bit yellowish and a lot of leaves have fallen off. All that energy of the tree is going into making those flowers. All right, here I go. Ah, such a beautiful flower. There'll be more. Wow, is that ever nice? There's another one. Starts from back here. There we go. Just beautiful. Now here's the flower buds, so it's important to get these off. There's a little one bigger one you can see how the leaves are yeah they're getting yellowy kind of spots on them this 
So we got to put the energy of the tree back into the foliage, making branches and foliage. You can even see buds developing here. They got to be pruned off also. Here's another one. I think that's got all the major flower buds off. Oh, there's another one here. Little one. I'll turn the hibiscus back to the front. Right here. And step back and have a look at it. I'm studying the hibiscus. So I think you can see this branch here. It's quite long. It has movement to it, but not much, not much change of taper. It's kind of the same diameter right from the base all the way out to where it divides out at the tip. Um, it's not uncommon to see branches on a tree like that where they're kind of long reaching branches that are the same diameter. So I've got to think, well, do I want to make the tree more compact or do I want it more spreading? The flowers are quite large on this tree. So generally I would say I want the tree to be larger. I grow it into a larger tree. So I think next time I go to repot it, I'll put it in a bigger pot. Try and, uh, you know, get vigor in it so it's growing really, really well and slowly increase the size of the tree. I think, I think if I were to cut that branch, it would leave a big scar and I, I just, I don't think there's much point. I mean, you look at any tree and they have branches like that that sweep out and are a very kind of constant thickness. So it doesn't bother me. So I'm going to leave it. And that's the same with the one on the right hand side here. This one it doesn't bother me at all. So I think I can. I'm happy with that. I think all I want to do today is to bring all the new shoots back in check. So wherever they've grown long, reduce them back to like the first pair of leaves. And then, you know, with all those flowers removed, the tree should put on a lot of growth over the winter. I'll start the pruning on this branch. So here I have a shoot. There's two leaves down here, a few up here so I can prune it right back. I, I don't want a branch going straight up, so I'm going to prune it back so there's just one leaf and it's pointing in a more horizontal direction. So like that. There's a branch here. I have a little leaf on the bottom, one on the top, another one on the bottom here. I think I'm going to take it off to here. Keeping some of that new growth. Here's one here. I can take the tip off. This one, take the tip off. The one out front, I've got leaf 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 so i think here i'll redirect the branch out towards the front more i'll remove these upwards pointing leaves just take that one off so it gets light to this part of the branch and this one's got to come off to get some light to this shoot just kind of thinning that branch structure out and this one can come off too just so all parts of the branch, it's a yellow leaf, all parts of the branch get light. So that branch is pruned up now. It's looking quite nice. I'll continue to prune up the rest of the tree and we'll come back and kind of have a look at the design. There's a shoot sticking straight up here. Don't want that one. I'm going to take it right off. I don't mind if they flow upwards, but I don't want any vertical ones, especially on the outer edge of the canopy. In the middle, it's okay, but not at the outer edges. Now, there's a vertical one here. I don't think that's looking very good either. No. Kind of grows in towards the center of the tree. I'm taking that right out. 
like that. I think that's got all the major tips pruned back. So now I do need to step back and have a look at the overall design of the tree. All right, now I'm looking at the tree now. I've got a branch up here, this one that comes out forward and it, it kind of sweeps off and it's parallel to the one behind it there. I think the top of that one could be cut off so it doesn't reach, you can see it reaches over right to the edge of the profile and it's a branch that starts in the interior. So it should probably end somewhere around here, not way out here. So I've got a shoot further back that I can prune it back to. So I'll do that. So that's gone. I think that looks much better. I have a stub in the middle there where I prune the branch off that needs cleaning up. So I'll get rid of that. All right, that's cleaned up. Looks much nicer. Um, the branch that comes out front looks fine. I, I no complaints about that. The one off to the left-hand side looks fine. The one behind that right here has a stub on top that I need to prune back. That's off, that looks good. That branch, it kind of comes up and then it grows in towards the center of the tree. I do have a shoot on the outside that I could kind of redirect it so it's growing more fanning out. So I think I'll take off that part that comes inside that other branch. So here I go. Okay, that, that's better. There's a stub at the back I'm going to remove. I think there's a branch, the main part of the trunk comes up and I'm kind of creating an apex up the middle there. And there's one sticking up here. That's gotta be reduced back. That's looking better. Now I'm going to kind of look down at the tree from above and just see what branches are in the light and which ones are getting shaded out. Here's a view looking down at the tree. So I'll look at the branch structure and if I need to do any pruning, I will. I'm noticing a bit of congestion in this area. I've got a branch growing from here that will crisscross this one. So I think I need to prune that part off and have it grow out here. So I'm going to take the end off that branch like that. That's good. There's a leaf I can take off here. There's a stub I can remove here. I'll take the tip off here. Like I think that's looking quite nice. Everything kind of has a spot of sunlight. Here's a look at the front of the tree now. I haven't touched the little branch here and I think it needs a little bit of pruning. There's one that goes out the back that's extending quite long so I'll just trim that off. So that is it for the pruning. I think it's looking quite good. I think I will when I go to repot it I'll put it in a kind of a shallow oval and maybe a white pot would go nice, kind of match the trunk a bit, or a light gray, um, or a glaze that kind of matches the trunk. So maybe, yeah, something a little larger so I can start showing the root spread. It was nice to see a splash of color here in the greenhouse on this cold, dull December day. And that's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone.